Well, hello everybody. Uh, welcome to Ale and Audio. Um, this is the pub shed home bar chat and section of the show, beer chat, all that kind of thing. We've got the big pub shed pub quiz coming up. We are on Spotify. Hello if you listen to us on Spotify. Hello if you are watching us on YouTube. If you are listening on Spotify and you want to watch some of this, then head over to YouTube. Um, it comes out usually on a Sunday, a couple of days after the main episode. So, uh, as always, I've got with me our resident sheddies. Uh, here they are. Let's start then with down in Stoke. It's Andy of the Dunning. <laughs> Hello, how's it going? Hello. <laughs> and there's no bragging rights between us two because we had the draw. We drew Leicester and Wednesday drew last week. It's Dave of the Hardy Arms in Leicester. How are you doing? Oh, yeah. It's been a whole uh, couple of seconds and I've not been called a stupid little owl yet. So that's uh, that's good going. <laughs> you both all right? <laughs> How's that, mate? Fantastic. Fantastic. Good stuff. Do you want all your Christmas decorations up, yeah? Well, this is it. It looks like I'm letting everyone down because I've not done it. Uh, in the house. They're up. They're not up in it. I need to do. I need to do a big clean up in here. I've been away. Oh, I, <laughs> <laughs> I I just wait to see what scrag ends I get left. You know, stuff. You know, broken baubles, all them kind of things. They go up in here. I get all bits. Um, but it's I've been away. Christmas tree, like. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Um, I've uh, I've been away this weekend, so yeah, I've not had a chance to do my decorations yet. Not in the shed, anyway. Um, so uh, I am with child today. Uh, she's behind me. I'll just tell you what she did last week before I ask you what what you were up to at uh, the weekend. So we, she was, yeah, she's in. She, she. I'm surprised she's allowed back in here. So last week we recorded and she was here. I was doing babysitting and recording at the same time. Find out a few days later that this little one sat behind me on her iPad has only FaceTimed the mother-in-law and father-in-law filming my ass crack <laughs> and FaceTime and they're laughing their head off and I'm sat here recording. Not no idea for a couple of days until a couple of days later that she's been Brilliant. sat there. So she's had I mean I did find it funny. I told Have her you she watched it, it the was, video back. Well it was live. Have you watched so, the recording uh, back? I, I don't think it was recorded as far as I'm aware. Oh what do you mean? Oh the our recording. No, I haven't, so I can't even work out when... I need to watch it and watch work out when she was recording. doing it. <laughs> I'll have to and yeah. see when she was doing it. I kept feeling her, like, messing about. Like I thought she was, like, kicking me, and I kept trying to... She's had sets her off. She's mm. on the move. That's it. She's been watched. She was told it was very funny, but she was also told not to do it again. <laughs> That's why she's waving at you now. Yeah, yeah. I think I think that's a sign of acceptance. So here we go. Go on, get back on what you're doing, please. Right. So that's that's a bit of the show done. Um. So let's go. Ooh, I'm going to go with I'm going to go with Dave first. Tell us about what you did at the weekend, Dave. Got drunk. Got drunk. We had um the the annual Hardy Arms Christmas jumper party with family and friends over. Uh, about thirty of us. From about two o'clock, um, I spent most of the evening behind the bar. It's like it is like a full time job when you've got people over, isn't it? You know, oh, you've got yeah. a house full of people. Mm. It's a constant. Can I have a drink, please? Can I have a drink, please? Can I have a drink, please? And then you always get that one awkward sod that wants, can I have tonic with that, please? Oh, Jesus Christ, <laughs> it's all in the garage. <laughs> you know, like the soft drinks are in the garage. But no, so well, we, it was good. We had say, a lot of friends and family over. I, I worked at the bar most of the in fact, all night. Um, they all left about nine o'clock. And then H said to me, come on, let's go back in the bar. And me and I just sat there till about midnight, just chilling, listening to some music, had a few more beers. And then Sunday you wake up with the dreaded, oh, my God, why did I do, bother doing all that? Because you look downstairs in your kitchen in your bar. And it's an absolute mess, isn't it? And you have to do all the big tidy up. So you spend all week prepping for parter and then spend all weekend cleaning up after then said parter. Well, hanging. So now, <laughs> yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't too bad, but, you know, the bar's back to being clean and stuff and the house is, so. And obviously you got your Christmas tree up as well, didn't you, Dave? 
I've got me, uh, yeah, I mean, any man's asked to decorate a tree. Yeah, you see, every man's asked to decorate a tree. So I did. The beer cannon coasters. What? <laughs> and it's, it's your Blink-182 beer can in particular on top, in it? Yeah, it's the fa- favourite beer of the year so far, just because of what is on it, really. So, but yeah, so that's the that tree. Looking good. I mean, H was that's out great. at the time. And I come back, I was like, I've decorated the tree then. So she went and had a look. She went, hmm, typical bloke. <laughs> no, you've not even used an old punch to old, punch the holes in and stuff. Oh, he's, put, he's probably thought about it. She's like, you could have put a bit of, she's like, you could have put a bit of ribbon around it. And I said, no, it's fine. It is, isn't it? <laughs> I might just hang a few empty cans on it after a while. That's it. Yeah, just so. use the ring pull, Dave. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Clever. But I have got a little, little story to tell you about a pork scratching. Mm. So, oh. Fill the jar. You're not going to. You're not going to pee this one again, have you? Can you play the sad music while he tells his story? <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go. G- give me a minute. Let me find some sad music. What's what do they call it? Da, da, I don't know. There's, no, there's a. There must be a classical name for it. Yeah. I don't know. He used to be on every sad Sunday music. morning radio show. Sad it? music. <laughs> Let's have a look. Radio, sad music. <laughs> sad music. I don't know. Hold on. We'll just go whatever comes up. I mean, it's, I'm getting like deathbed and stuff like that. No, I don't know. I've always wanted to Oh, learn no, how- that's an advert. We'll skip that bit. One second. Ada's got it on. Right, is this sad music? Here we go. It's kind of sad. Yeah. Go on then, Dave. What happened? Yeah, it's sad enough. So I always, I always fill the jar of pork scratchings up on the bar for Christmas because I know a lot of people like them. So I sat there just chewing a few, having a few beers. Next minute, I heard crunch. I thought that was an odd pork scratching. Half an hour later, I thought tea feels a bit sharp. And I realised, went into the bathroom, looked at the mirror, and it had bloody. Kicked me too. But now I've got a dentist. Rebuild it all up. And he went, Can you come Friday? That means I can't drink Friday now. Oh no! (laughs) What a day! The saddest part of the story is he can't drink Friday. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, that is the saddest part. Devastated. Drink it for a straw. That's very unfortunate. So, yeah. um, so this time last year, that's it. No, this time last year we were celebrating a penis-shaped pork scratching, and now we're cursing a generally overly hard pork scratching that's done Dave's teeth in. Disappointing. Um, so, well, that was Dave's weekend. <laughs> well, that's that's why he could be a vegetarian. Was it worth the chip tooth? Yeah, he loves them pork scratchings. <laughs> well, it's either that or chew a carrot, isn't it? <laughs> Andy, you had a good weekend though, didn't you? Yeah, I did. I went to Manchester on, for a day out. Some people say you should go to the markets now, so I've that. Uh, went to uh, hear some weird feedback. Um, um, Yes, <laughs> can you still hear it? <laughs> went to um, one of North Brew's pubs first as a sweetener on the uh, what's it called Circle Square, which is a bit weird. Um, but that's pretty decent. Go there, it's a nice chill vibe. A um, couple of beers in there. Then we wandered across to well, they basically do like a block party now and again between four breweries. So track, uh, sure shot. A balance and cloud water. So we started in we started at track. Um uh, had pizza as you do. Uh, a few beers and then they got some uh, ooze stouts on tap. A beer for the first time ever keg from Tint Meadow, which is actually quite local to me and Dave, even though he doesn't like that sort of beer. Um is that the I'll speak, I'll speak to the guys later, blonde. Dave. Yeah, well they've got a blonde one coming out, definitely up your street. Um, 
yeah, got to chatting to them guys. Um, so I had their first ever beer that they had on keg. Uh, they normally bottle all their beers, which was very nice. Um, went on to Balance, never been there before. So they mix firm different beers. Got chatting to the guys who run that and like going through how they decipher what goes into what. Turns out it's just magic. Um, so um, yeah, get, keep your eye out for those. You mainly do big sharing bottles, but if you go tapering, they do like thirds in nice little fancy glasses. It's a very nice, chill place. But it has like this weird 70s vibe uh, about it because there's like velvet curtains uh, all around the place, which is quite strange. Um, and then on to Sure Shop, where from your pictures you saw that was some uh instagram beer legends uh meeting up for christmas jumper day so hence me and sam when now were christmas jumpers and oscar would come with us he'd got his on uh so friends of podcast um you see them all there that was earlier on in the day before we met them uh they went to society first for food uh jen had kindly organized different places for them to go so yeah just keep an eye out on different socials for all the, the raft of pictures and states and at some points they were comparing valleys uh um, <laughs> i saw those but, pictures <laughs> yeah that was it's quite surreal I'm quite glad i didn't make it that far uh but me and sam had to get back because i'd got the dog with us to get him back from the train station we had to get a bus so um we had to be back before last bus which is, on saturday's crap is half past five so we stayed with them for an hour or so in sure shot you saw pablo's disco ball in the background um, i did yeah we pointed out that to Jen, and she was like, oh, my God, is he here? And I was like, no, he's not. That's just his disco ball um, <laughs> on the screen. I but bet yeah, he was very... I bet you was worried Shady Mercury was going to come out and do, like, a live set for you or something. Yeah, they kicked him in the nuts and pulled his tash off. Um, <laughs> uh, but, yeah, definitely good day out. Um, I'm going to keep an eye out for when they do another meet-up to definitely go again and hopefully stay longer. Uh, saw uh, Crappy Asai again, who came on the Sheffield day out uh, when we did Liam's beers and he said he'd love to do another round there so yeah maybe maybe it's in the the makings but we'll see uh yeah so top guys uh, all trying different sorts of beers all throughout the day it's very good very good yeah and i've still i've i mean i've yet to go to manchester yet to do a night out of any sorts in manchester yeah we got there for like lunch, like dead on 12 o'clock our train arrived uh, no actually a little bit before that it was about 20 to 12 so we the main breweries behind Piccadilly Station don't open until 12, so we had to walk down to North Brew because I've not been there before. And, uh, yeah, it's very good. Very good, yeah. And it looks like you all had a great time. Um, before we – I'll tell you what, I mean, I, I, I would. you saw me off down caves in Castleton and then back out the cave to Hillsborough. Missed every single goal again. Uh, back after half time, came straight back to Castleton, got snowed in, managed to get back. Up to um, your nose you were. What was that? Yeah, I was. Yes, yeah. I was. And uh, and and yeah, we've got. There's, there's no bragging rights between me and Dave because we had a one-one draw, didn't we, last Wednesday? But and we'll probably mention it. We'll mention it again. Um, it's the next game, isn't it? This weekend. Yeah. So, we'll talk. Yeah. I'm telling, you, I'm telling you now, if we don't win, manager's probably down the road. <laughs> well, that's it. I was, I'm glad he's not been sacked before the game because normally that you yeah. get a bounce, don't you? So because we um, have been rubbish. Well. So I'm not so, holding my breath, but I am going. So, <laughs> right. Well, uh, yeah, we'll talk about that at the end. But what we've got you now, you've got a beer from from myself, which I gave you when we had a uh, when we when we went up for your birthday. Yes. It's what the it's it? it's called it's a heist beer, and it's the bad part of Gnome Town. And uh, I picked it up because I thought, Is that where you, you know, live? yeah, that's it with the gnomes. Um, and I thought, you know what, it's. I, I had this. I, I had this beer when I went to the tap, and I, I saw that they'd that the highest tap. I saw that they'd wouldn't. Uh, I think it it was Sheffield Beer Festival's beer of the festival. So I had a try of it, and instantly thought this is brilliant, and this is probably one of my beers of the year. So I thought when we were having our meet up, it's a good opportunity to to get one in. Cause I think it's sold out now. I don't think it's easy to get hold of anymore unless you find it in a random bottle shop somewhere. Um, but I thought I'd get hold of it, and I'd uh, yeah I'd share it with you. And yeah, what what do you reckon? Very juicy, very nice. Why? For, but... for a four point six, it packs some flavour, doesn't it? In thickness, yeah. mm. it, packs a punch. it definitely looks it does. like a big it looks juicy apart. beer. Which is nice glasses. I have. We have nearly. Yeah. Drank. I'm nearly quite like nearly half of it already. Yeah, 
matching glassware and all yeah. that as well. I've already had me. Uh, I've already had me advent beer as well tonight. Yeah, I've got a man after rush me in from work yes. <laughs> how have the advent uh, beers been so far i mean at the time recording it's oh, day four Sunday, you know standard like started on started on friday didn't they like going to get steady cup man was like a big old beer up front seven percent saturday was a steady one sunday yes let's get straight in with the barrel age nightmare before uh christmas from brew york which is 9.8 percent one Good job it was in a little can. <laughs> lunch that did for a Sunday for a Sunday afternoon. Uh, I think today's is it. I think I saw some spoilers. I think I haven't opened mine yet, but I think on the fourth it's a cloud water beer. So, oh, we'll okay, see. yes, very good. Looking forward to that. Uh, I've seen a lot of people have got the uh, old fuss club, haven't they? Uh, bearded Yorkshireman. I see. There was a lot, there was a lot of panic um, around. There was a lot of panic around because they were delivering like last minute. Um, so yeah, I got a few messages with "Have you got yours yet? Have you had yours yet? Have you had an email yet?" I was like, <laughs> "Patience." <laughs> well, they all arrived in time. We look at it. So yeah, that's yeah, really good. Good. Yeah. your beer's been all right, Dave. Yeah, I started out Friday with a big eight point four percent double IPA, and then oh my god, there's a massive spider that's currently coming down. Um, <laughs> it's gonna sit on screen. It's always like, it's like, oh my god! He's he's scared of spiders. Yeah, so yeah, I had that eight point four. <laughs> no, not really. But you know when they just like come creeping, <laughs> just coming down. It's it's behind you that you need to worry about. Oh, he's moving. He's moving. It must be bad. I I think it's you can. Shoulder, it's on your shoulder. We can tell who does spider removal in their wait, house, can't we? Wait till uh... we get Number eight, get spiders out of Dave's house. Ah! <laughs> no, oh, no, no, Dave's were harmed oh, during oh. the making of this podcast, <laughs> but spiders got squashed. <laughs> Good job we couldn't see it because it was marked behind his name. You'd have to blur it out. Okay. Um, where were we? Advent beers. Advent Saturday, beers, yeah. Good one. Uh, Sunday was a porter. And I, I did actually drink it all, which you'd be all be surprised about. Oh, he's growing up. And it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. <laughs> you was. Five stars. Not terrible. <laughs> Best porter I've Pretty ever drank. It was not all bad. <laughs> Well, well yeah. done, Dave. And then today was just an easy pale ale. Um, right. and yeah, there's from Monday, a, just a pale ale. Just to ease yourself back massive, into the way. I know that for a fact there's a massive beer in your advent calendar. I'm really there's looking forward to you trying. It, isn't there? I know it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Though, you, unless you buy one, one from like Fuss Club, you're always going to get because the first do just a light beer option, don't they? So yeah. you're never really going to get if you buy from a brewery, you're always going to get some form of stout or porter that you're not really into if you're not into them kind of beers. Yeah, this one's this. I know for well, I know in mind there's two bottles that came with mine. Um, they couldn't wrap them properly, so you can just see I the top sticking out of them. It's got a wax seal on it, yeah. And I'm pretty, I'm it. pretty much certain I know yeah. what the. I haven't looked at it, but I'm pretty sure I know what the beer is. Um, it's not that big a beer, but the other one, I've got a sneaking suspicion on the. It's for Christmas Eve as well, twenty day twenty four. The second bottle is. I've got a sneaking suspicion that's going to be a massive, dirty stout. Um, <laughs> Shiny brew. You can just like tell by the cap. Saying, you know, like yeah. you look at some bottle caps, don't you, where they like got the remnants yeah. of the beer where they put the cap on. Yeah, you can see it. I'm just like, oh my god. Yeah, Shiny messaged me saying that they were doing their advent calendar, but after I'd bought already bought one, and I said to him, "You about how many stouts are you going to put in there?" Because they do churn out a few stouts. And he went, "Well, don't mm. worry, because I just make yours purely light beers only." And I was like, "Okay, you know what? Fair enough. Maybe next year." <laughs> We'll call it Dave Just Lights. That's it. Yeah. yeah. Get, get and stick it on the shop. 
just cut and call it that. Dave just likes beer. Yeah. Yeah. Very light. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> are we uh, are we ready to get quizzing? Oh yeah, go on. Yeah, go on. Are we the questions the right way around this time? Yes. Welcome to the Big Pub Shed Pub Quiz with your host Jimbo, your contestants Andy of the Dunning Stoke and Dave of the Ardy Arms in Leicester. Um, good job we don't have any buzzer questions uh, because I think I think Dave's struggling from a tiny bit of lag. Uh, don't know if anyone. He, he, I think he's I think he's got a slight delay, uh, not massively, but. Uh, hey, <laughs> <laughs> there you go, that's <laughs> I can hear you straight away. There's obviously a delay of it coming back. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, anyway. <laughs> well, he can still buzz in then. Um, okay, so questions then. Now, this time, uh, it is obviously, it's our school disco special. We've got the school disco coming up. Oh, we wait had... a minute. We've, oh, he's got his tie. Here we go. He's got his tie on. There we go. Tie around the head. Yep, he's sorted. <laughs> Brilliant. Right, Andy's ready. Yep, yeah, Andy's ready. School disco's coming up uh, a bit later on after the quiz and everything. Uh, oh, we've yeah, got... the bike sheds. yeah, this section is like is like the classroom bit. This is wet playtime. Uh... <laughs> so yeah, it doesn't sound very appealing, does wet... it? <laughs> He's <laughs> <laughs> spitting, so we've all had to come indoors, uh, drawing pictures and stuff like that. Uh, so we've had we've had pa- we've had Pablo disco bars, uh, you know, special Pablo style school disco. We've had that already as well. So we're like the bit in the middle, we're the hard work basically. MDMA. <laughs> so. Um, we'll have some school questions in a little bit, but we've got some general ones as well. So here's your first question, and it is an estimation question. And it's this one. Dutch Club FC20. I think I've said that right. Is that 20 or is it 20? Looks like 20 to me. FC20. 20. Anyway. I've revealed they have made more money from beer sales last season than they did from selling players. Um, which I don't think is unusual because Sheffield Wednesday don't sell players. But I think the I, the thing is, I, I think it's because... Yeah, your club's like our club. They just retire. Yeah, that's it. But I think FC 20, or 20, how do you say it, they are well known for selling players, aren't they? Developing and selling players, I think. So this is why it's quite a big f- fact that they've managed to make more beer se- more from beer sales than players. So in 2021, a fan of theirs went viral on social media for carrying... How many pints to his and his mate's seats? It's an estimation question. There's a picture of him carrying loads of pints to his mates. Um, let's let's go. Let's get Dave. Dave, you can go first. <laughs> let's have some first things first. Uh, well, if you're going to be at a football ground, you're not. Are you going to buy like the whole row of beer? Is that what you do? You're like look look down and go there. I want to say 12. (laughs) 12. Okay. 12 pints to his mate's seats. Okay. So I wrote 12 down. Mm -hmm. But just just for being different, I'm going to go lower. Lower. I'm going to go go nine. Nine. Okay. (laughs) 11 and a half. So, in 2021, this fan of uh, FC20 uh, went viral on social media for carrying how many pints to his mate's seats? And the answer is... I don't think I can give it anyone. 64! <laughs> <laughs> I mean... Yeah, look at that. He's uh, he's got them stacked up. He's got sixty four pints. He's carrying them to, and and apparently he beats the previous person who 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 kind of got some sort of record, which was wow. forty odd. So I bet, I, bet, I bet when we got there, his mate went. They haven't got they haven't got his side. <laughs> That's it. So yeah, sixty four. Um, I'm not going to give anyone the point because you think you have the token, get a discount. 
Maybe. Um, I think they're actually... It's called the Grohl Stadium, I think, as well. Um, FC Twent. Well, so. did it, did it, what, what beer was it then that he bought? <laughs> I'm assuming it, it might have been Grohl. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, good luck carrying, <laughs> carrying some swing tops. Yeah. Uh, all right, then. Okay, so your next question, then. Professor Philip Jeendent has recently written, written a report <laughs> after some... Ritted a report after Ritted. sampling a range of champagne and wines that were found at the bottom of the Baltic Sea in Finland on a ship that sank in 1852, over 170 years ago. Said to be the oldest bottle of champagne ever tasted. In his notes, how did he describe the taste? Either A, soapy and leathery, B, animal notes and wet hair, or C, like Carlin Nitro. <laughs> <laughs> And they... Well, it's funny because you can't really say that like Colin Nitro because that doesn't really taste him anything. So um, <laughs> I'm going to go with animal notes and wet hair. Animal notes and wet hair. Yeah. Have you have you ever had a, a beer or a champagne or a wine or anything that's, that that's got animal notes and wet hair? Um. No. I've had ones that have tasted a bit soapy because I forgot rinse the glass properly. <laughs> I tell you, animal notes of wet hair sounds a little bit like clunge nuggets. <laughs> I'm going to say soap and leathery. It's going to be something different. Soap and leathery to, to be different, obviously. Okay, right. Um yeah, don't worry. None of these contents are in your beer that I've sent you this week. Uh, it, the answer is well done to Andy. <laughs> yep. So this uh, champagne that's uh, that's been under the sea for over 170 years uh, is said to have tasted like animal notes and wet hair, but it's still apparently worth a shitload of money. <laughs> A metric, a metric boatload. Yes, uh, lots and lots and lots of money. Apparently, even though they've been tasted, and it, it, I think they've gone up in price now. They've been tasted, so yeah, people, people want that sort of yeah. wet hair. And uh, for the YouTube viewers, there's some uh, pictures of these being found by divers at the bottom of the sea. Good spot, uh, though. Can I, just say, really think... can I just ask? He said it tastes like animal notes of wet hair. Yeah. When has he ever tasted wet hair? <laughs> he, yeah, that's how he drives his wife's hair after a bath. Have you ever been stood in a queue? Have you ever been stood in a queue at Alton Towers when it's raining and you've got a woman stood in front of you like ah, wafting? She got a ponytail. That's yeah, what wet that, hair tastes that, like. What do you do? Come out your mouth. You <laughs> no, just... mouth open. Ah. I mean, I've got long hair. <laughs> No, he only does that in the gents, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> right, I think it's uh, one nil to Andy. Next question, then. We're back on estimations, I think. So, we're going back to school days now. So, we are on a school-based question here. What was the average price of a pint of lager in the UK in the year 2000? Which I'm guessing... Both of you were either at school. I think, Andy, you might have been leaving school around this time. Am I right? Yeah. There we go. Worked it out. But, at Dave, you'd have been probably... You might have even been primary school in 2000, I'm guessing. You would have Dave been. probably getting rimmed for that year. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't. There's... There'll be, there'll be you just, just said you prime, Dave, at that point. No, but no, no, nobody's got context. <laughs> no, the priest is just be hitting his prime. Oh, uh... hey, I didn't want to bring it up. I was going to be he was going to be good. Talk about things like that. This is unedited and uncut for YouTube viewers. So this is the kind of stuff you're getting. Uh. Spotify, everything, ev got everything Dave and Andy say is what they say. I've got nothing to do with it. We just alluded to something else. That was all. Um... <laughs> uh, I was actually just 
starting year seven. So what would you have been about like thirteen? How old are you, Dave? <laughs> How old are you? I'm the same age as my tongue and a little bit older than my teeth. Because I think I was starting I I've, I started prim- I started secondary school in nineteen ninety nine. And I'm yeah, 36. Right. I was leaving. Eight, 87. I was 89. Oh, yeah. You were young, 89. Yeah, Second, same as my brother. Secondary, yeah. secondary school for me was year seven onwards. Yeah. We only went yeah. to two, two schools. A lot of people went to three. We went to two. Yeah, same as us. But we yeah, you're same age as me. You're same age as my brother. Yeah. 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 Uh, and I'm the same age as his dad. Um, <laughs> <laughs> All the priests. Yeah. Um, um, funny enough, it's also the same year, same year that I start listening to Blink. <laughs> can you remember hey, how much you can? Eight one eight two. Oh yeah. Thank <laughs> you very much. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Right, is that going to have to be an episode title? I think it is, isn't yeah, it? Insert Blink song here. In fact, yeah. you can insert like, all the small things here because that's what I listen to at school. <laughs> so, price of pint, pint of lager, I'm going to say £2.80. £2.80? Yeah. It's, I think it's under the three quid mark. What What is it roughly now? Is it? Is it like... It's difficult, isn't it? Seven can, quid. If, if we take London prices in, it kind of pushes it up. Take but I London think... the equation, it's about £5.50. Put London in, it's about £7.50. Yeah. Yeah, I'll go with, I'll stick with three quid. Three pound for Andy, two pound yeah. eighty for Dave. Who's the closest then? Let's have a look. It's Dave. Well done, Dave. Two pound fifty. Two pound fifty. Oh, if only. <laughs> if only we could go back. It's about the price of a banana, that now, isn't it? Loaf yeah, of bread, that's now. When, that's when people used to drink skull and all sorts. <laughs> yeah, there's a reason it might have been cheap. Uh... Gold label. <laughs> there weren't such thing as, like, craft beer then, was there, really? Oh, no. no. True. M- Morston Coors was considered a craft brewery then. <laughs> Uh, so what's that pub shed oh, sound? God, not that again. <laughs> okay, so what's that pub shed sound? Right, let me play it for you. This is last week's. No, that was the weeks before. This was last hey, week. On three. <laughs> <laughs> this is last week. We got it. <laughs> There's been guesses, people saying, is it is it is it floors being swept? Um, is it something being opened, like a bottle being opened? We've had that guess. Uh, let me just have the latest check because I uh, I did another thing, eh? To see if anyone uh, got, see if anyone made a guess. Let's have a look. Uh, oh, okay. Um, so Shed sixty two says, is it one of those physics things? There's physics machines. Let's have another listen. It's not the correct answer. Um, pulling a cord on a window blind. Let's have a listen. Great guess, but that's not correct. Um, is it? Do you want to guess before I reveal what the answer is? No. So I'm not going to roll say, it. Yeah. I was going to say, like, the wrapping off a champagne bottle, like Prosecco bottle. Like, no, it? it's not that either. I am going to reveal the answer in just a moment. We haven't got another pub shed sound this week uh, because we're going to. I didn't want to. Ro- I didn't want to leave people hanging for a couple of weeks. If we're not, we're not going to have a show next week. You see, we're going to come back big for Christmas. So oh, right, I didn't want to leave it two week weeks. Off. Well, maybe, maybe not. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, you might be recording next week because Dave's off week after. So, but the next time people yeah, leave, us, off. yeah, be two weeks away. So, I'm going to reveal the answer very shortly. But have another listen. What is it? Go on then, Dave. We'll play your school, uh, your school day song, disco song. Go on. You, you, we know what it is, but go on. You can introduce it. It's going to be have to be. Blue 182, all the small things. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to reveal the answer of what is that pub shed sound. Well done to just a couple of people got it right. The Patriot Lockdown Bar, he got it right. He got it right last week, actually, like, you, you know, him. pretty quickly. Yeah. I didn't tell him, didn't tell him. And uh, Abitronic got it right as well. Okay, so two people getting it right. Have a listen. Because that is a tape measure. Obvious now, isn't it? No. It's more like a spinning top, the tape measure. You can hear it like <laughs> reeling back. Yeah. Must be one of those, one of those uh, Christmas crackers. <laughs> yep, it's a tape measure. So never mind. Uh, good going, though. We'll have another one. Uh, when we do the Christmas special to annoy everyone of a Christmas, but there we go. Um, so, next little thing we're going to do then is this. Back to school, real or fake beers? So we've got about seven or eight beers I think we've got. Uh, you've just got to tell us if they are real or if they are fake, and they're all relating to being back at school. So, uh, since we're doing back to school, should we have a little bit of an intro to this? I did have it. I did have it lined up, but then I had to find some sad music. One sec. Here we go. Back to school. Real or fake beers? Um. So, hey, by the way, my dad went to Grange Hill. The film, the school where it was filmed. He went to Grange Hill. You know that it's a fact. Not a very good one, but it's a fact. And then he moved it to Liverpool, but anyway. So, Green Jill. Uh, and yeah, this is back to school, real or fake beer. So all I'm going to do is put a beer on screen. You each can have a guess whether it's real or fake. You can go for the same answer if you want, or you can go for different answers. Completely up to you. But they're all school-related, kind of. Okay? So here we go. First beer, Panda Pop Sour. Has any brewery done a Panda Pop Sour? Did you have Panda Pops in your day? Yeah, I love Remember, the blue one. You love the blue one. I think I was into yeah. the cola one. Which actually just tasted like roller cola. Now you look back. But at the time. Couldn't get so, Dave off Shandy Bass. That's a problem. <laughs> panda Pop Sour. Is this a real or fake beer? Is a brewery attempted a panda, panda Pop Sour? I'm going to say they probably have. So I'm going to say real. Yeah. Dave, you saying the same? I was going to say, I'm sure somebody's probably done it. Okay. So real. Let's take a look. Real or fake? And you are both wrong. Yeah. No, no one's done a Panda Pop Sour Maybe yet. They Maybe they should <laughs> do a Panda Pop Sour. Well, everything else is just about being done, hasn't it? So... Yeah. Uh, yeah, no Panda Pop Sours, but yeah, just love a Panda Pop at a school disco back in the day. Uh, next up then, on cassette, Dipper. Real or fake, on cassette. What are you reckoning, Dave? Yeah, I think it's real. Real. Both saying real, real. and... I feel like I might have had it. I think so. Now I, I did. I thought that it was a it, it was a Raptor? neon. I thought neon. It sounded like a neon Raptor beer, but I've looked and it isn't. So neon Raptor haven't done it as far as I'm aware. I did. I did okay. search. I couldn't find it. Um, but you are still both correct. Uh, New Anthem Beer Project, who are based in North Carolina, so probably unlikely we've had it. Um, but I'm sure I've had it. I'm sure I've. I've I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure. Based on cassettes. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure someone done one, but who it was. Couldn't, couldn't find Who it. So. There we go. Next one, Who then. Knows? Tuck Shop Sour. 
tuck shop sour. Did you have a tuck shop at your school? No. No, you weren't allowed tuck shops. Yeah. Even we had... Didn't you have one, Dave? Of course we did. Yeah. The, there, was a, there was a great big tuck shop robbery at our school. Was there? Was it you? Yeah, my brother robbed it. My brother robbed it. <laughs> <laughs> and then sold sweet uh... in, 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 in the fields for cheaper. <laughs> uh, we had a we had the the mystery of the opening vending machine in our school. Oh, nobody knows who opened it, but there was about three hundred kids at it, emptying it quick in his life. <laughs> so uh, I, I remember it was students who had to run the tuck shop as well. You kind of like it was like a bit of work experience for you. Um, but yeah, there we go. I never so, got yeah, to work it's about life that tuck shop by the terms of it. <laughs> what you reckon then real or fake tuck shop sour is that how you got into like running a corner shop back in the day <laughs> maybe yeah like, I think it's like your career path tuck shop manager corner shop mm. paper round people have brought, corner shop. breweries have bought beers out with sweets and stuff from the yeah. tuck shop but then whether it's specifically like, tuck shop yeah I, I would say fake I'll go real. Saying real, okay. So this is the bit where someone could go in. Well, someone will go into the lead in this. Uh, third answer. Okay. So who's going real again? Me. Well done. You're correct. It's real. <laughs> and it's uh, Attic Bruco did this one. Yeah, Attic. Uh, I don't think it's still available. No. I don't think when I checked, but they have like done the old style yeah. label. Yeah, there we go. Uh, so yeah, Tuck Shop Sour six percent from Attic Bruco. That's real. Uh, so you in this game, Andy goes into the lead. Next one, then. I quite fancy the dinner lady, a porter. Did you have any good looking dinner ladies at your school? I don't remember any. No, it was always Brenda from down Botwick Road. <laughs> did you have did you have anybody did you have anyone in there that knew you like as like a relative or dinner lady or no like, luckily not from the family was we had... real <laughs> we, we had a I had a friend whose uh, mum was the dinner lady yeah that's it that's, everybody yeah. knows somebody who was a dinner lady it's, it's yeah. amazing mm. so I quite fancy the dinner lady. You didn't know a school long, you say fake. 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 Yeah, they used to like patrol, didn't they? And like make sure you were eating everything and not just your crisps and your chocolate yeah. and stuff. One, we had one dinner lady who was obsessed with making you face the wall when you've been naughty. <laughs> Outside when it was raining. <laughs> so you're both saying fake. Yeah. Anthony, yeah. yeah. And you would both be correct. <laughs> yep, made up that one. Correct. Next one. Vest and pants. West Coast IPA. <laughs> Sounds dry, so it could work. Did you ever have to do uh, your pee in vest and pants and you forgot in your pee? Bed, did you ever have to do it in some like lost property? I did, but because I was always the idiot who lost my own property, I was I always end up wearing my own pee kit <laughs> from lost property. So <laughs> I... <laughs> I remember. I actually, I actually wore, I actually wore a netball skirt once for our <laughs> indoor gym. Brilliant. You know when it came to like swimming at school, the girls would always say, "I can't this week." You know, things yeah. are happening. I once turned up with no PE like swimwear, so they couldn't make you do it anyway. I was like, "Sorry, my time in the month, I can't do it." And I thought, "Well, they don't ever do it. I'm not doing it." <laughs> it's not like getting me hair wet in school, so I did, uh, yeah. I got, I, got I got banned from going our, our swim sessions because uh, we did a gala once and they were like, oh, applause for the people who were helping support. And there was like a couple of like the um, high school girls that were there to like help this gala go along. And I went, boo! Like <laughs> um, and he, the teacher, he was horrible. This guy, I remember him clear as day, but he went, Who booed like that? Of course, I was like, Me, <laughs> he's like, Stand in the corner. So everybody went out, and he's like, 
say sorry to all these people who are helping, like literally lined everybody up. And he's like, say, and I was like, sorry. And he's like, you're not coming here again. That was it, Stand, stand in the cup. Completely banned from, 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 I was probably 10 years old. Banned from, I had to, I had to, when they all went off on the bus to <laughs> uh, separate school, on the bus to go swimming, I had to stay behind with the teaching assistant uh, playing on paint on the local, on the one uh, multimedia PC that we had available. <laughs> I mean, like for, the, for, the rest of, for the rest of the year, for the rest of the school year, that was. I think it's funny that your teacher said, your, te yeah. your teacher said, stand in the corner of the deep end. Yeah. <laughs> Horrible. Some some great confessions come out here. I mean, you know, Andy yeah. wearing yeah. netball skirts. I hope he, I hope he, I hope he drowned. <laughs> This is this. So, so, so now Sam knows why you're o you're always popping a uh, hockey skirt on as well. It all started there, didn't it? Ah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then yeah, Dave. Um, yeah. Well, there we go. We've learned we've learned something new about you both. Um, vest and pants, West Coast IPA, <laughs> real or fake? Real, real. I'm gonna say it's an American beer. Vest and pants. <laughs> you are both. Uh, wrong, wow. yeah, wrong. So I think Andy's still in the lead in this game. Um, next then, milk money stout. Oh, I think I've heard of that one. You think so? Real. I think so. Both saying real then. Real, yeah, yeah. I mean, if it was going to be any type of beer, it'd probably be a stout as well, wouldn't it? So it could just be a great trick yeah. on my part. Yeah, could be. I think I've heard of that one. Okay, let's have a look. Uh, they're both saying real. <laughs> Correct. Goose Island. Yeah, milk stout 5% from Goose Island. I don't know how many more. I've got one or two more. Let's have a look. Bubblegum screwball sour. Bubblegum screwball oh. sour. Real. 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 Is that because you is that you want it to be real or do you think it's real? You yeah, know it's I want real. it now. I think, I think I do, yonder might have I do it. I was about to say, Yonder did an ice cream selection. I had two of yeah. them. And it, in fact. <laughs> yeah, real. I think it's Yonder. Let's, if, let's go real, but I, don't, I might have had it. Let's have a look. I had the Twister one. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. He, made the, he made the song blue. Yeah, that correct. Was the only one, um, that was the only one out of the selection I didn't have. I had the other yeah, ones. I never that. got that one. It was good that one. So yeah, that was real, and they they got the brewer out as well. Uh, it was yonder. Um, I don't know whether that well. So it's fairly recent. I'm I'm guessing as well. Then that one. Yeah, summer. There we go. Perfect. Did you, did you, did you a twister one as well? Yeah, I've got that still in the fridge. Not drank that yet. Screwballs were great ice creams though, weren't they? As well, getting that bubble gum from the bottom. Lovely. Uh, okay. Do you remember when you got them little bubble gum? Yeah. You know the bubble gums you used to get in the screwballs, the little round things. Yeah. Do you remember yeah. you used to get them in like a long plastic? Oh yeah. Like, tray. The foil back. The foil. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> anyway. I know a lad who put them all in his mouth at once, and he couldn't talk. Right, I think this might be the last one. Oh no, it's not. We've done. Oh, there you go. Who, who won that? I think. I think Andy. I think. I think you won that, didn't you? Well done, Andy. Congratulations. <laughs> Good game, that. Uh, we're staying back at school though because uh, it's now time for. Hello, everyone. I'm the Compare Without Compare, and here at the Ale and Audio Pub Shed tonight, I'd like to introduce Atten Shady Mercury. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, Shady Mercury, and uh, the work's drying up. Work's drying up. So he's having to do. He's having to do schools now. School discos. Uh, yeah, I mean, he's, he, I don't know whether his DBS checked. He probably should be. Um, but anyway, so he's here for his school disco. He's the warm up act. Is the, the first act that's on before the big disco later on. And 
<laughs> and uh, yeah, he's he's doing as a song. Okay, so let's uh, let's have it, shall we? Here's your song, and it is something relating to school, school discos. Might have been something that was at your school disco, maybe not. We'll find out. Have a listen to this. Who's the artist, and what's the song title? Me, me, me. As always, we'll give our uh, listeners another go, at another listen. I think Andy and Dave, I, I, I think Andy's got it. Dave, not sure about. Oh no, Dave's nodding as well. I think they've both got it. So let's play it once again. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> Pablo Disco Ball said um, you'd kick yourself if you didn't get that one right, Andy. Is it, is it British Can I just say, I think it's about time we got... I think it's about time that we got the video of Pablo Disco Ball doing these as well for the podcast. Yeah. Oh, oh, well, I'll leave that up to Pablo. Yeah. <laughs> what yeah, I think the live... Are we watching live... The facial expressions that he does are absolutely hilarious. <laughs> so, Britney Spears, Andy, you've got... Hey, the... baby, one more time. Yay! And I know Dave got that as well. Hey, there we go. And we knew we know from, uh, from previous episodes in the past that uh, that was Andy's school day crush. Maybe not yeah. school day. Yeah, school days. Of course it was school yeah. days, yeah. There we go. Okay, so next then, it's time for. I got a pub shed in my garden and a bottle shop in my town. I love the craft and perfect draft and a two for one discount. So when it comes to beer, I need a deal that keep the prices at a steal. So I'm calling up Martin Brewis. Woo. So yes, Martin Brewis. I think the first thing to start with is is just a rem- I mean, it's not really a money saving deal, but it's a charity thing. Jumpers. It's Christmas. Christmas jumpers, ale and audios, a range of them. Uh, and I can tell you, right, and every, don't forget, we only make about two quid from each jumper. So it's all it, we're just going to send it all to Royal Manchester Children's Hospital, is I, or Manchester Royal Children's Hospital, whichever way around it is. We're going to send it to them. That was obviously we looked after Taylor Tavern's uh, young lad last year and early into this year. Um, but we've already sold 10. We've sold 10 yeah. already. How good is that? That's a good go, isn't it? <laughs> Which is... Uh, Ten more than I thought we'd sell, so that's not bad, is it? <laughs> Good stuff. Uh, so you can get these. I mean, you know, buy you fry. What will it be? Friday? The I think I think what you should do is have a wait. Remember in the summertime, Dave, when he bought us all those bucket hats. I think you should have a word with the guy who bought the bucket hats off and say, <laughs> "There's an amazing de- deal to be had. Get some of these jumpers on your market stall. Buy yeah. out. You are about to do it." That's it. Um, uh, but yeah. You know what? I'm, I've got a really good money saving expert tip for you. Have a parter and only supply your mates with lager because then they bring a whole load of other rabble with you. And now I'm inundated with Camden Pale Ale, Punk IPA down there. There's all sorts. And all I gave oh. up a lost lager. <laughs> <laughs> That's so it. Great. Then... I've got more beer. That's, 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 called, cool. that's called speculate to accumulate. <laughs> that's it. Nice work. Sounds like that's paid off. You've you've stocked. You've got your fridge fillers for your next party now, then, haven't you? Well, sorted. Um, but on that, no. To be fair, it's it's. 
from. Oh, I don't know what we're saying. Sorry, I think that, that delay has just kicked in. What were you saying, uh, Dave? I was just saying, yeah, obviously, I bought a load of lager in and stuff and lost lager, and then there's a lot more other stuff that turned up, so which is good. And even somebody brought sours because they weren't drinking, but they were like, I know you drink sour, so here you go. It's a couple of sours. So, Win it. perfect. Nice one. Uh, but on the fridge filler thing, on the fridge filler thing, uh, the the offers have changed. So uh, Tesco's have recently. They, they, it must be at the start of every month. It all resets. So I thought it'd be worth putting the fridge filler deals back up because they've reset again. Uh, so now uh, currently I put some on screen. Yeah. But uh, the first one we can start with is Asda. Um, they've got uh, you can get six cans of faith for a tenner, which is not bad at all. That is decent well, value. Six six, six cans. cans of faith. Yeah. Uh, and the big cans as well, yeah, 440 mil, like you said. And then you've got Camdenelle's uh, Tesco. You can get 12 for a tenner. So that's obviously very good, less than a quid a can. Obviously, a lot less than a quid a can. Um, then you've got Hop, Skip and a Juice. Uh, also at Tesco's, they've got for the 440 mil cans, 825 uh, for four of those. And then also you've got uh, – this is not the only deal. But there's a couple of deals like this at Tesco's. But, for example, uh, Brew Dog Easy Jane – and get 12 cans for... Oh, I've, I've cut the price off there, but I think it's £13.50. So you can get 12 cans of Easy Jane uh, for £13.50. So again, great time for stocking up your fridge, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, you know, always well, you've got just people just turn up your house around this time of year, don't they? Dropping presents and whatnot off. So it's been nice to have a fridge full of stuff. I mean, my fridge is full of premium beers, which I'm just going to put a lock around. <laughs> You're not giving them away. <laughs> There we go. Uh, and anything else before? Because I've got another an, another um, money saving tip. Is there anything else? It's not really a money saving tip. It's just a good gift idea. Have you got any, Dave? Before we move on, just put uh, in your wish list gift vouchers for online beer some uh, like places. So beer, at Fuss Club, we always use Dave kindly give me a voucher because you're not gonna. I'm not gonna buy beer now, but somebody's like buy you a Christmas present or somebody out there asking you for Christmas, get something like that because they'll have a great selection on in the new year. Got some money towards some decent beer. And and another idea, if you're looking for, if you do know another beer lover uh, or someone who's, you know, getting into the craft beers and stuff like that, maybe a, a gift voucher from your local bottle shop. Um, because that'll help, you know, that'll keep them, you know, particularly January as well. Which is always a tough time for um, you know retailers, such as small independent bottle shops with a dry January and all that kind of thing, and people generally cutting back anyway. So if you can get them a gift voucher for a bottle shop, that'll really help them as well. Um, you know the bottle shop. So yeah, you know that's something I'm going to do for my family. Um, a couple of people have said, "Oh, pick us some beers." I thought, "Oh, you can pick your own. I'll get you a voucher," and that'll keep bottle shops going as well. So there we go. Um, was there something you wanted to mention, Dave? Uh, yeah, I've not really found anything this week. I, I did look today, but I did do a big order on uh, Sure Shots website over the weekend. And I just want to say, I think the price of their beers are not that bad, like can wise. So I bought 12 cans of beer. So obviously, they're all 440 mil cans and a glass, free delivery. And it cost me like 62 quid. So I don't think that was a bad, really, price. But I'd say that their cans, their cans are not overly expensive which is good good going um so one thing i thought was a good idea for people who are looking for christmas gifts for people or even for yourself um now buy a gift the website buy a gift there's a couple of brewery tours and stuff like that on there um you know, more than the ones that I'm going to be putting up on screen talking about in particular, but I noticed that they've got a 20% off all experiences with the code CHRISTMAS2023. Now, if you're looking for something to plan for the new year, maybe you and your partner want to book a couple of brewery tours in or um, or you want to go away with mates on a bit of a brewery tour or maybe you want to gift it to somebody, um, you've got to spend 80 quid to get that 20% off. But, for example, if you've got yourself two brewery tours, like there's one here at Yorkshire Heart Vineyard and Brewery, which is up in York. And then there's also uh, a Camden Town Brewery with a beer tasting for two as well. So that's, you know, if you added those two together, then you get the 20% off and you've kind of got two days out there that you can get booked in for the new year and plan your summer and your spring and all that kind of thing. So I thought that'd be a good one to, to give a mention to. 
um you know obviously you've got to spend above that amount but it's a good way to you know good gift to, to get someone or just to gift you to yourself good going oh, we, can oh, cool. we can recommend the camden town brewery tour because i've done it and it's good yeah, good stuff. I think there is there's more than just the two that I've mentioned there, but those were the ones that stood out to me. Got one in the north there in the south. See what I did? Covered everybody. That sort of thing. Yeah, there we go. Uh but there you go. That was Martin Brewis and our money saving beer expert. Um and yeah, if you do get any of your own, please feel free to send them through and let us know. Okay, it's now time for and well, here we go. It's home bar of the week. Okay, this is a really interesting one because uh, it's the first time that we have had a loft slash attic bar. I did try and get in touch with them, um, but the time differences, they're, they're in Texas, has probably meant they've not seen the message. But I know they've been fairly active recently um, on Instagram and they're fairly new as well. So it's We Heron Pub. We is in like W double E and then Heron Pub. Um. And yeah, it's Pablo Disco Bar sent it me quite a while ago. And they are the first ever, uh, well, the first one we featured anyway, and that I've seen a attic slash sort of like loft pub. And they're based in uh, South Texas. And they say that uh, their bar is inspired by their many years living in Europe and traveling uh, in the UK as well. Um, and yeah, inspired by a lot of the lockdown bars that they've seen and people got pub sheds on Instagram and so on online. Um, so yeah. <laughs> Did you see that? No. <laughs> oh, no. Don't have children. Oh, no. Don't let them grow up, Dave. It doesn't matter. We'll sort it after. She's just... So for those that were that, uh, that clunk, that was my... Uh, which one was it? That was what a Richard Orley. Yeah. <laughs> that, was, that was a six-year-old kicking off my... One of my nice bits of artwork onto the floor. She can't keep, she can't sit still. Anyway, never mind. It's Takes okay. It's a fair just leave it. Yeah. Anyway, so yeah, we Heron Pub. Uh, give them a follow. Uh, just to show you a couple of pictures that they've got as well. Um, you can see how it's kind of in the attic. It's like a bit of like an the way it's, it's like mezzanine. Yeah. yeah, that's it. Yeah. Uh, but it's so cool looking. Um, and love the bar and the style they've got in there. It's proper cozy. This is this is a proper indoor house bar. But it is like the top floor, like Dave said, like a mezzanine type thing. Uh, Andy said, sorry, like a mezzanine type thing. Really nice. Um, and there's a few more pictures of there. I don't know if you can uh, see the picture on the dog's collar, by the way. They do have a pub shed pet, uh, uh, which is a little yeah. dog. And the do the collar so says... Beer on return. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. That's, that's it. So uh, that, 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 that'll that make people take a lost dog back, and won't the, it? So. The cup says there's a chance that she's urine. <laughs> no, he says wine. <laughs> <laughs> so there is a, a picture in their bar of like a it looks like soup or something, and on the side of the cup it says there's a chance like this tea. is wine. But when it's when it's zoomed out, oh, it might be tea. Yeah, it might be. Sorry, it's tea and biscuits. Yeah, tea and biscuit. I, that makes more sense. Tea and biscuits, not not soup or urine. <laughs> biscuits. What a, what a combo! I thought it was like those dry bread. <laughs> <laughs> the thing. Hey, I'm going to have I'm going to have a bourbon with my tomato soup <laughs> hey I've had tomato soup for lunch I'll, I'll take a, a, a an obnob with me <laughs> uh, so anyway oh, he's been on the wine <laughs> uh, but way. yeah you and you can see a couple of the, one of them, maybe the landlord or the patrons, whatever the bar, but there you go. Uh, they are sat there at the bar. So yeah, give them a follow. Uh, yeah, that a is uh, We yeah. Heron Pub. It is different, isn't it? It's not, not one that I've, I've not seen one like that before. And yeah, uh, if they do listen to this afterwards, yeah, it'd be good to see more from you as well. And please do get in touch and yeah, we'll share your posts and everything like that too. So good stuff like it. Uh, okay. So it's, <laughs> it's now time for a game. Of oh, hold on a minute. Ah, what's going on here? I'm lost. I'm like, right, I'm back. I'm back. Yeah. Okay, are you ready? What's in Jan's school bag? What's in Jan Boxer's school bag? What's in Jack's school bag? 
What's in Jan Box's box? What's in Jan Box's box? What's in Jan Box? What's in Jan Box's box? What's in Jan Box's box? Hi guys, Jan here from the Boxing Hounds, and I've brought along my famous box. Cool can bag. you guess what's inside cool it this week? 20 questions, and I can only answer yes or no. So, yes, it's a special school edition of What's in Jan's Box school bag. Um, now, this time, it's not pub shed related, not own bar related, not garden related. It's school related, okay? So, you've got a bit of a clue there as to what it might be. So, school related, okay? So, who's going to ask the first question? Is it made out of wood? Yes. Yay! Oh. About time. It's not been made out of wood ever before, has it? <laughs> Is it a ruler? <laughs> <laughs> this week in Jan Box's box, it was a wooden ruler. Hey! Hey! What's in Jan Box's box? What's in Jan's box? What's in Jan Box's box? What's in Jan Box? What's in Jan Box? Now I Nailed knew it. I knew that would happen. I knew that would happen. So myself, Pat and Peggy are playing another game of Jan's school bag later on. Because I knew we'd have wood we had to have wooden ruler. We had to have it. And I knew you'd get it straight away. So we're backed up. We've got another game of that coming up. Uh, and you know what? Pat and Peggy reckon they can get it quicker than you got it, but they've got no, no idea. How, they've got no idea how quick you got it. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Anyway, yeah. right. So we'll move on because there is another That's game of Jan's box coming up. Fastest Jan's boxing. Oh, it is. History. Yeah, it's. And I, and I knew it would be. I absolutely knew it would. maybe not in the first. Maybe not the first two questions. I predicted the first five, but. <laughs> That was a short one. <laughs> if I'm honest with you, I was going to say pencil. <laughs> That's what yeah. she said. <laughs> so there we go. Uh, anyway, what's you both up to at the weekend? Well, we've got the stupid football, haven't we, you silly little owl? <laughs> oh, yeah, we have. Yes, uh, game three in the Ailen Audio Cup. I'm currently lazing bottom spot. Yeah. Um, you're in second place with one point. I've got Neil Poir. Dave's on four. Two goals. And Dave's on three points. Four? Four points, sorry. He's yeah. on four points with plus two goals. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. I don't, so fancy, I don't fancy us moving off the bottom of that. Pyramid, I think uh, you, you are playing it as a, as a bad time, but we have been, when we fought, oh, we've turned it around now. We've always kind of then we've got hammered like four or five nil. So oh, e take that, but... equally that could happen. So it could yeah. happen. Mm. Well, yeah, that's me for Saturday. Rearrange golf Sunday because obviously snow put pen to that this weekend. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. What about yourself, Dave? Well, obviously at the time we recorded, it's only Monday. But on Wednesday, I've actually got a work night out. So I've got a whole Ooh. day of like presentations to do on Wednesday afternoon. And then a work meal and evening out in a hotel wherever we are in Nottingham with like big wigs, MDs, managers of managers and everybody that's got loads more money than I have. So well, I'll be nervous for a hangover game. probably Thursday. And then... And then uh dentist Saturday, obviously football and then dentist Thursday with a hangover, <laughs> so that's gonna be enjoyable. Uh yeah, Saturday's football, so we chill, and then Sunday we're just gonna go take the dogs out somewhere for a walk and then just chill at home and probably have a few beers because we've just got to get ourselves ready for going away the following week. There we go. Nice one. Uh my end, what have I got oh, going on? Yeah, not much here, I don't think. I think we've got a quiet one here as well. Uh, yeah, not much, not too much going on. Um, yeah, it's a quiet one here. Pablo Disco Bar Friday night um, is, is disco. 
an actual disco. Uh, so I'll be tuning into that probably. But yeah, that's it. Have you enjoyed your beers today, by the way? Very good, thank you. Very tasty. Definitely up there with my really good beer. Yes, thank you very much for that. That was very good. Then. Next time we're on, you'll have to have a, you'll have to have had a thought about maybe your top two or three beers of the year. Share oh, with you. share with us what they are. We'll keep them secret for now. Um, I know Andy've mentioned a few of yours a couple of times, but yeah, Dave, Andy, gather your your, fit, your top beers together, and we'll find out what they are in the next episode. Uh, but yeah, I hope you have great weekends and uh, not so good luck to you and Stoke at the weekend, Andy. Um, oh. And what number are you going to go for? Two. Number two. Okay. Number two it is. Would you like a shit? Yes, I'd like a shit. Would you like a shit? Yes, I'd like a shit. Beer fact of the week. Brought to you by Dave. I've lost it. <laughs> uh, I thought it. I thought it was just a delay. A I knew I should have screenshot it. I knew I should have screenshot it. Uh, 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 I've completely lost it. It's good. We don't. We don't edit this. It's okay, Dave. We don't edit this bit. You. You only. You, you're, only you're only making yourself look silly. Not. Not well, me. I'll grab my tea while you find it. <laughs> Who's rapping? Oh, I've gone past it now. Oh, I can't. I've lost it. It's the shit be a fact of the week. It's the shit be a fact of the week. It's the shit be a fact of the week. It's the shit be a fact of the week. And it's brought to you by day. Never trust a man with too many tabs open on his phone. No. <laughs> I've got Especially it. incognito ones. It's because I <laughs> stored it. He was Look, looking I at that clock. right here, and then I closed it, and then it went, it went back to the top of the list. Anyway, beer drinkers are better thinkers by age. So according to research, men that are in their late 70s and 80s that have been boozing at least once a day are clearer thinkers compared to somebody that hasn't drank alcohol. Wow. Bye. Mav, listen back to that one. Bye-bye. <laughs>